All right, I'm going to demonstrate now how to use the camera in aperture priority mode. To do that, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be um, taking a picture of with the camera. So let's go right here and look right here at these objects. I have the camera set up and then I have three little dumbbells, not people, but actual dumbbells that are uh, set a little different distance from the camera, medium and a, f a little further distance from the camera. Um, it's possible to take a picture and have all of them be in focus or it's possible to have just one of them be in focus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in on just the middle one but first of all I want to show you how to set the camera on, uh, on aperture priority. All right, here's the camera. Uh, you'll notice that I have, I have the camera on right now and I'm going to look at the display by pressing the display button. Notice it's showing 1 200th of a second and ISO 1600. Uh, when I did the shot in the gym, the ISO, it started at 100 and I changed it to, to um, 1600. So I'm going to click the ISO button on the top again because I want to change the ISO. And I'm going to roll the wheel to change it. So here I go, I'm going to roll that wheel and roll it up to, two, to 100. And then I'm going to, I can hit press set and then notice the ISO now is set at 100. I have this shutter speed at 1 200th of a second and I'm still on shutter priority and I don't show any f-stop. Because the camera's going to choose the f-stop, I don't have a choice because I still have it on, on TV, on shutter speed priority. I'm going to change that to AV and that stands for aperture, aperture priority or aperture, v, I don't know what the V is, why they call it V. Um, but now, when I look through the camera, this, this particular camera doesn't show preview, but when I look at the, at the display, it shows that it's F8. I'm going to move it all the way open, so I'm going to just roll the wheel, that, the wheel right here, as to, as to the lowest number that it'll go to. That means the aperture is, instead of closed, it's open as far as I can for the lens. So instead of closed, it's open. The lowest number is open. Now I'm going to look through the lens. So, so I'm going to go right through here. And I'm going to focus on the middle item, if I can get to do it. it is. And it took the picture, and it's, the reason why I had it on a tripod is because, it, did you notice how slow that image was? How, how slow the shutter, I don't know if you could hear the shutter on there, but it was at about a third of a second. That's what that three right there means. And it was at f5.6. Now I'm going to close down the shutter speed a little ways. So I'm going to um, hit the display button again and I'm going to close it down to about to about 11. And I'm going to take a picture again. Now when I put it on 11, that instead of it being all the way open, it's closed down probably about that much. So I'm going to take that picture, I'm going to focus on the same item, if I can get it to do that. And if you could hear the shutter, it lasted about a second. It lasted one and a third second. Now I'm going to sh close down the shutter one more time, a little bit more, and go all the way down to f20, f32, f36. That's as that's as much as I can close. That's just a teeny pinhole. So that's going to take quite a bit of time to take the picture. So I'm just going to gently focus on that middle item again. Let me get there again. There you go. I'm going to tighten this. I'm just going to press it gently and let go. Right now it's still taking the image. Still doing it. Still doing it. There. Now it's, that, that took, it made the exposure that long. But notice it's correctly exposed. And um, when, when we end up looking at these three pictures, I'm going to, I'll show them to you on the computer. All three of those will be in focus, where when it's all the way open, only one of them will be in focus. And when it was part way open, only like to 16, you'll, the, it'll be a little better focus for everything. That's called the depth of field. What I did is, as I closed the aperture and put it up to 36, it made the depth of field a lot deeper. And that's when, that's the reason why you would use a, um, a really uh, high um, aperture. You know, at the, at, or f-stop, we call it f-stop, we measured in f-stop. So 5.6 was, had it wide open and it had a really shallow depth of field. 
uh, 8 had a little deeper depth of field, and 32 or 36 had a really, really deep depth of field. And you would use aperture priority, but if you're taking in low light situations like it is inside this room, you would always want to put it on a tripod because nobody can hold it that still for that long.